Hello there, I am Shy Grodel from my Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we took on... We got a bike, basically. We took... We went around Marvel City getting things. I think we got... We may have got the coin case, and we went in the game corner. We covered all these trainers right here, so we don't have to do that. Again, I got... I chose the mock bike from Rydal, and his shop is right here, so just go in there and talk to him, and he'll give you a bike. The difference between the mock bike and the acro bike is acro bike is slower and more controllable. Um, but you don't get like times on the cycling road. That's only for the mock bike. You can do bunny hops on the mock bike. You can jump on the mock bike. You can jump on the mock bike. You can um, you do a wheelies on the mock bike. But the, ma the uh, not the mock bike. The acro bike. So sorry. And the mock bike really just has speed really. And so both of those you'll need for the game. You only extra things. So yeah, here is the daycare. And if you go in here, you can talk to the lady, and she will ask if you if you want her to raise a Pokemon for you. I have her. Don't. By the way, there's a PC right there in case for extra convenience if you need to draw a Pokemon. And then here's the here's the grandpa here's the um daycare man, the husband to the daycare wife that was in there. Yeah. Um, I have Aaron and who else up front? Not Pokedex. Okay, Aaron and Prime. Okay. So let's get into some battles. Let's see here, let's just get in this battle. Let's go. Whistling, can could I get you to battle the Pokemon I'm raising? Why not? Why not? Why not? I'm fine with that. Oh, it's a breeder. Bushmer, huh? Okay, um, let's get the medical. There we go. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron versus Aaron. What's up? Oh, man, I didn't forget it. But what was that? Cause he's awesome. It's always, that always does it, you know? Tackle will do 1 HP on me. And... I'm just fading with the metal claw. It's gonna be neutral. Okay. Makuhita. Um, I don't wanna switch out for that actually. And we'll go to Peter. Go Peter, my wingle. When you attack that thing off its sweep. Here we go. Six is good, huh? Um, we'll keep Peter up front or out. The six is good, huh? Well, that's he's also gonna get when he attacked to the face. There we go. Puchin, huh? You see, Blaine would totally win this battle because Pucci, because, because all these dark types and steel types and all that, and even Aaron, who's four times with the double kick, which is on my Blaine right now. I'm pretty sure Blaine has double kick. Man, Blaine would get a lot of experience if we just, I could swoop his whole team with what we just Blaine. <laughs> okay, well, um, we'll give Speedy a chance. Headbutt the thing off its feet. Aw oh, man, you know, register me and my Pokenab. Are we gonna, we're gonna register each other in each other's Pokenabs. I don't like that. I'm with my pretty junior student partner. I have to do good. Junior and senior, huh? Water gun Makita. Uh. 
There we go. I want to knock out that market hitter first. Level 22, yay. Got a lower defense with the tail up. Zeke Zunis, of course. Yeah. So let's use Hyper on the Zeke Zun and Bodyguard on the Zeke Zun. There we go. I'm pretty li I'm with my pretty little junior student partner. Let me win. <laughs> Thanks for the five dollars and forty-four cents. I forgot what breeder Isaac gave us, you know, as our, as our money. Oh my gosh, so many numbers, so many Pokemon have entries. I think this guy's that do do well. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but whatever, I can have a battle. Hey, let's have a battle. Sure, you're in the middle of a triathlon. It looks like you're just jogging back and forth within a 20 foot line. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just giving criticize. I'm criticizing him basically. Headbutt. Gonna lower down my attack, okay. Smart move because I'm using a physical attack to move, I think. Pretty sure I am. Headbutt again. Stand strong, Nate. Headbutt, yeah. There we go. I'm going to have to be strong too, I'd like you to train me. Okay, everyone on this route gives you their Pokenav entry. Their Pokenav number, or whatever you want to call it. I'm picking berries here. Picking berries is so fun. Well, not really, but it's very beneficial. Because it can be used as healing items or Pokebox ingredients. Which I might do a video on Pokebox when we get to that point. I don't know, I haven't really done Pokebox, really. At least in this game, so I wouldn't really know what to do really. I've seen videos of it a couple of times, but that's about it. There, it's tasty here. Good to know. I do my triathlon training with Pokemon, so I'm pretty confident about my speed. That's good to know. You probably have a Doduo too, because Doduo is actually pretty fast speed wise. Yep, Doduo is like, kind of like ostriches, you know? Weird. I'd bet that they'll do it. And let's use a tackle. Yeah, as I was saying, if I didn't say this already, I'm pretty sure I did, but I'll say it again. They'll do it kind of like uh, ostriches, and the ostriches, ostriches are, in real life are kind of like really fast. Even though they can't fly, they're really fast runners. I learned that I saw how fast an ostrich could like run in a in an open field like in physics class at my school. It was pretty interesting. You appear to tr be training properly. If you like, I'd battle you later. I'll battle you later. Okay. Um, I only battle you once, man. So I don't know. Let's see. Who do I have? Oh, what's the fight? Um. I'll put Peter up front, just cause I know this is a bug maniac dude, whatever. He probably has like a beautiful line of dust docks. I remember that specifically. Once a bug catcher, and now bug maniac. My love for Pokemon remains unchanged. Good to know. Let's battle. I bet you have a beautiful and a dust docks. Two Pokemon. You have two Pokemon. One's a dust docks, and probably the other one's gonna be a beautiful. How did I know? I played this game before <laughs> and remember the specific detail. It's crazy. But when you attack that Dustox in the face, and the the Dustox will use Gust. Okay, let's use Water Gun then. Oh man, dang it! Jesus, another Water Gun. There we go. Awesome, level 23. Beautify, huh? Let's go to Blaine then. Blaine hasn't got any action in this battle. Same with um, Shrooms, but we'll get to that later, I guess, if we can. Beautify. 
Let's use Ember on this thing. Ah, uh, so close. Okay, you can use Absorb on me, okay. Peck attack. There we go, nice. My emptitude also remains unchanged. I think I read that second word wrong. Thanks for the nine dollars and sixty cents though. I will give Shrooms a shot. Okay, I think this guy, this girl just says, oh, I plant all these flowers. Yep. There's a couple items here. Here's her pell. Okay. A great ball, yay! Another great ball is out of my collection. I guess not, that's like the, all the items. Let me check again. Yep, okay. It's f I think this guy, this girl is also a breeder or a woman lady. A woman lady. I'm not sure though. Please allow me to evaluate if you have raised your Pokemon properly. What's this evaluation about? Huh? Yep, you're a breeder. I knew it. I kind of knew it. One gold. Let's use head bouncing. Yeah, there we go. Goldine, huh? Mega drain this to the face. There we go. Roselia, huh? Interesting. Roselia is actually about really good experience, especially if it's trained with Roselia. That gives out more than just wild Roselia. I don't know why Roselia gives out so much experience points, but I'm not gonna complain. I just wanted to bring that up, because it's actually a really cool thing to know. She's not a headbutt. There we go. So, like, was always give about 350 some experience, and I was like at level 11, I think. It's crazy. Too much, huh? Let's go, Speedy. But this swimming shot its feet. There we go. My roll. There we go. Skitty. But this, oh, I'm just spamming head, but really, <laughs> yeah. Level 23 as well, yeah. Hey. Mud support. Um, no, thank you. I don't want mud support. Sorry. Windia. <laughs> yes, this. They are growing properly. Thanks for the four dollars and three cents. Oh, look at this. Shumash is evolving. Yay! I think it's like my second or third Pokemon evolving into its final evolution. Oh, yeah, look at it. It's a cool Breloom. Breloom's always cool. I always thought. M M Mach Punch. Yes, I want to learn this move. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get rid of Headbutt. 
can actually get rid of bullets. We don't kind of we don't really need bullets anymore. Glad I met Ace Park Trainer and you. I hope to see you again. Every every trainer on this route, I'm like, are you kidding me? So yeah, let's see. Um, sh Prime Shrooms and Speed have reached their final evolution, but Aaron still needs to evolve, Wingo still needs to evolve, and then Brain still needs to evolve. So yeah, so half of my Pokemon are at its final evolution state, which is awesome. I made you trade the power of my hit, the power hidden within my psychic Pokemon, within a psychic Pokemon. Good to know, you know? It's good to know. Ralts, huh? Water gun. I mean, you want my physical attack, not my special attack, though. Haha. <laughs> What are gonna get in? There we go. Astonishing. <laughs> Thanks for four dollars and eight cents. I don't have cut with me, but I'm pretty sure that item right there in the corner is actually rare candy. Isn't it nice to battle when looking at pretty flowers? You betcha. Not really. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Let's do a roll combo. It'll also be super effective, which is nice. No lower down my attack, but my roll combo will double each time it successful it successfully hits, I mean. Goodbye, do duo. There we go. And I think there's only one more of a mini trainer to battle this route. Concentrate on getting the win. Well, that's how I battle. Are you not a triathlon person? Nope, you're about to go. Okay. Might take, huh? Okay. Water gun that thing to the face. Oh gosh, using Bide. <laughs> I can raise up my defenses. I'm raising up my defenses basically so I don't get hurt from the Bide. And I have to raise up defenses again. So this is the only time I use like stat boosting moves if it uses like bite or something like that. Cause then it'll fail cause I didn't do any damage on it when it was storing up energy from the bide move. So it's actually a really good strategy. I don't use it too often cause you know I don't get into that trouble. <laughs> it's gonna raise up its special defense or attack. Oh it's gives oh okay. it raises up its attack, my bad. There we go, it's down for the count. So, yeah, 7 levels of 23 now, yay. I didn't- I don't waste any time being angry over a loss. I would rather train. Four, thanks for the $4.08. As with that, I think I've battled every uh, trainer on this route. Oh, not- oh, Knight's not level 23 yet, darn it. Cool, we'll put him to front then. As I'm looking through this route again, when we look again... Pretty sure I battled everyone, so I bow to you. I went up here and visited the daycare. I left my Pokemon at the daycare. When I got back, it had a new move that I didn't teach it. It was really, I was really, really surprised. That's also a good. It can be a good and bad thing when you put your Pokemon in the daycare, because it'll learn like moves, but the moves are kind of really just. It'll like a Pidgey will learn Send attack again for some reason, and it's really not the great of a move. So, also another reason why I don't really put my Pokemon in the daycare, unless it's like a Pokemon I just put in there just for fun, not any of my party Pokemon, because it takes a long time for them to level up. See, I think the level ups go by how many steps you take after you put the Pokemon in, the, in your daycare. I'm not sure, but I think that's about it. That's about how it works. Uh, and I'll go back and get cut for the next part. Um, but if you go all the way to the west right here, you're wet and inverted and turf town. I remember my Pokemon would be in Sapphire Walk the Guide, that I couldn't pronounce Verdon, Turf Town, or Marville. But now I can't. I'm just proud of myself. So, is there any items in here? So, see here. Not really. 
So yeah, so I'll just cut the part here. This is pretty Angle again. I like the music again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough guide.